Okay, well up next, Meals in a Rush guest chef, Mia Murphy is spreading out the jam to put together a dessert. All you'll need is some dough, a little sugar, and we can't forget the chocolate. Mm -hmm. Yum, yum. Mia shows Tanya how it's done in just minutes. Well, for the past month, Tanya Rush with Meals in a Rush has been handing over her spatula to guest chefs in the Coco Kitchen. This morning, the spatula is being passed to 12-year-old Mia Murphy. Mia's father, Edward, was the silent auction winner, there's Edward, of a Meals in a Rush cooking spot at the 2009 Project Safeguard Valentine's Fling fundraising event. This helped to raise money for battered women and their children. Doing an awesome job. Okay. Tanya is with Mia over in the kitchen ready to put together a dessert that sounds simply irresistible. It is. Mia, you have a pretty cool dad helping a great cause and getting you on TV. Tell him a big thank you. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> you're so sweet. Now, Mia, your parents tell me that you love to watch Food Network. Yeah. What are your favorite shows? I like Iron Chef. Why do you like Iron Chef? Well, it's kind of cool the way they prepare the food. Because they're all crazy and they have stuff all around? Yeah. And speaking of crazy, your parents tell me you're like Julia Child in the kitchen. You'll just take <laughs> a bowl, pulling something here, pulling something there, and voila, you create something. Is that true? Yeah. But do you clean up your messes? <laughs> you like that for your dad? That's what they tell me. So do you want to someday have your own restaurant? Um, I think it'd be a good experience. What kind of restaurant would you like? Um, I think an international um, restaurant would be... Um, cool. Now, why would you want to do an international restaurant? Because, um, like, just having food from different countries, and I think that would be a lot of, like, different from more restaurants. Because you're actually Hungarian, correct, mm -hmm. and Asian, so you'd like to bring that flair to serve others, right? Well, are you ready to show me how to bake your dessert today? Yeah. And what's it called? It's called Gerbo Salad. Gerbo? Did I yeah, say that right? Gerbo. Yeah. All right. How do we do that? What ingredients first do we need here? So, um, you need a baking dish, okay. a pie crust, like any kind, and your favorite jam and nuts. And nuts and a little bit of sugar to mix with the nuts, too, and some chocolate chips because you also, you put chocolate on this, right? Now, do you want to show me how this is done now? All Since right. we have everything ready and you've started this process, haven't you? Mm -hmm. So, you butter and flour a, a glass dish. Yeah. Okay. And then what do I do now? So um, this one is done. You put jam on the bottom, and then you put nuts on the top. Just like sprinkling, you have to okay. make it even. Okay. And then what? You put another layer of dough on the top. So we do about two to three layers, mm -hmm. you think? All right. So that. And then what? Well, you take the fork and just poke holes in it like that. Is that for each layer or when we're done with the top part? Well, each layer so the steam can come oh, out. Oh, okay. So let me poke here. All right. How's that? It's good. Am I doing good so far? Yeah. And then take some of the jam. Now, what did you do with your jam? Well, you can mix any kind you like or use any kind you like, but use, I used apricot, raspberry, and strawberry. Oh, yum. So you mixed them all together. Okay. And how much? Just to coat yeah. the top of the dough? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so messy in the kitchen. Are you messy too in the kitchen? Oh, <laughs> my word. All right. Now, I'll spread this around evenly. All right. I think I need a little bit more. What do you think? Yeah, just a little bit. A little bit more? All right. I'm going to put a lot. I like jam. How's that? Good. Ooh, you know it would be good with this, my favorite grape. Have you tried it with grape at all? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here we go with this. Then what do I do? You take the nuts and try to mm. put it evenly over the jam. Okay. Just kind of sprinkle here? Yeah. All right. I'm going to put a little bit more. How's that? And then it's, uh, we have to preheat our oven to 350 degrees, correct? Mm -hmm. And cook that. Do you know how long it cooks? Um, it doesn't really have a time, but just make sure you can smell it and it turns like golden brown. Okay. And your forte, by the way, for chefs at home that like precise measurements and stuff, you just put it all together, a little of this, a little of that, stick in the oven. When it's golden brown, it's done, right? Yeah. Now this is my top layer. And do I need to kind of press it down? Mm -hmm. And you want to put the fork Okay. Skin. Like that. How'd I do? Good. Do I pass mm -hmm. your test? Yeah. Can I come work in your restaurant? <laughs> oh, I hope that's a yes. She's not sure. <laughs> what was that? And then when it comes out of the oven, after golden brown, you melt chocolate chips and then cover it with the chocolate. Yeah. And then do you cut it in squares and serve? Uh -huh, you can cut it in squares or like diamonds, either shape. Diamonds, do I like diamonds? Well, before I taste test, I'm going to let people know how they want to get this recipe because I think they probably want to bake this up themselves. So here, you can help me here. So for Mia's Jarbo dessert, right, you can go to mealsinarush.com and Mia's recipe is featured right there on the homepage. Look at you. 
There you also find many, many other splendid recipes under Here's What's Cooking. And if you'd like to auction off a Meals in a Rush to help raise money for an organization, you can learn more about that under Community World. Also, here's a delicious deal for you and a guest. Johnson & Wales University Denver campus has given me three sets of coupons, each valued 80 bucks for their Chef's Choice recreational cooking classes. As you know, Johnson Wales is known for their College of Culinary Arts. This is for all levels of cooks. You will get hands-on experience with demonstrations under the direction of professional chef instructors. Mia's going to be there, she tells me. <laughs> Here are two class dates left that you can attend free of charge if you win, of course. Saturday, April 25th from 9 to noon, learn how to create a Mother's Day buffet or cook up traditional dishes from Spain. You can choose one or the other. Then, again, there will be classes on Saturday, May 2nd from 9 to noon. The choices for that date, it's all about Greek food or Creole versus Cajun. Yum. Here's how you can win. Email Tanya at MealsInARush.com the following. Send a picture and share with me why you're going to be the next top chef after Mia, of course. For example, what makes you sizzle in the kitchen or maybe a family recipe that you love like Mia showed today that people just love to sink their teeth into. Once again, Tanya at MealsInARush.com. Send a picture, include your phone number, you'll have until Monday to enter, and I will call you if you are the winner, and I am ready wow. to eat. We have the family here, too. Mm -hmm. This is so good. Isn't it Mia, good? these are fantastic. Yes. You know what I like? It's light. You yeah. betcha, and they're fantastic. Do you have one? Have you had oh, one? Oh, I have had We want to couple. introduce, obviously, Mia's father, Edward, her mom, yep. Gabby, and her sister, Alex, are all with us as well. And so. I just want to say thank you so mm -hmm. much for supporting Project Safeguard and coming on the show mm -hmm. and cook with, with Tanya. So thank you. Good luck with you time. and your future. Give us your knuckles there. Yeah. Yeah.